Hello everyone and welcome to Constructivism and here we are dealing with the third part of the series which is based upon countries of the world, their map, their flag, the capital, the currency and the location as well which is brought to you by me Mohsun Gupta and you are watching Constructivism. So here we are dealing with 196 countries with their capital, the currency, the location, their map and their flag. So the last two lessons I have already dealt with this whole part. This whole part I've already covered and today I'm gonna deal with this lower part of Asia which is known as South Asia. So it's starting with the very first country we have. So this country is Thailand. So it's the very first country. This India, this is Myanmar and next to Myanmar we have Thailand. The next to Thailand we have Cambodia which is over here. Next to Cambodia we have Vietnam which is the third country next to Cambodia. The fourth country we have Singapore. So it's the very small part Singapore the fifth country we have Malaysia so this portion and this portion together makes Malaysia this two whole portion together makes Malaysia in the lower part of Malaysia we have Indonesia so this Indonesia is a sixth part country okay in the seventh country we have Brunei which is over here the eighth is Philippines this whole part is Philippines the ninth we have Taiwan which is here and the tenth we have Maldives this part is Maldives so let's begin with the detailed explanation of all these countries. So starting with the very first country we have Thailand. So this is Myanmar and next to Myanmar we have Thailand. So it's a country at the center of Indo-Chinese Peninsula in the Southeast Asia. This is the map of Thailand. Its capital is Bangkok which is over here. Its currency is Bird and this is the flag which is of strips in color of red, white, blue, white and red with the central blue strips being twice as wide as each of other four. Moving the next country, we have Cambodia. So this part is Thailand and next to Thailand, we have Cambodia. So it's a country located in the southern portion of Indochina Peninsula in the Southeast Asia. It's bordered by Thailand in the northwest, Laos, this part is Laos in the northeast, Vietnam in the east and Gulf of Thailand in the southwest. This is the map of Cambodia. Its capital is Phnom Phen, which is over here. Its currency is Dong, and this is the flag. So this flag has three horizontal bands of blue, red, and blue, with a depiction of Angkor Wat. This is Angkor Wat in the white center on the red band. The next country we have it's a third country, which is known as Vietnam. This is Thailand. Next to Thailand, we have Cambodia. And next to Cambodia, we have Vietnam. This whole part is Vietnam. It's a Southeast Asian country on the South China Sea, known for its beaches, rivers, Buddhist pagodas, and bustling cities. This is the map of Vietnam. It's capital Hanoi, which is over here. Its currency is Dung, and this is the flag. This flag of Vietnam is a red flag with golden star and were designed in 1940 and used during an uprising against French rule and is South Vietnam that year. The next country is Singapore. So it's a very small part in the lower part is Singapore. So it's sometimes referred to as a lion city or we can see the garden city or the red Dot. It's a little red dot. It's a sovereign city state in the Southeast Asia and lies one degree north to the equator at the southern tip of peninsula Malaysia with the Indochina Rouse Island to the south. So this is the map of Singapore. Its capital is Singapore. Its currency is Singapore dollar and this is a flag. This flag is a horizontal bicolor of red and white charged with a crescent moon and facing the fly and a pentagon of five stars. This is a pentagon of five stars. The next country we have Malaysia. This is the fifth country is Malaysia, this part. So Malaysia is a federal constitutional monarchy located in the Southeast Asia. It consists of 13 states and three federal union territories. So you can see closely over here. This two part together makes Malaysia. This is the map of Malaysia, this and this, its capital is Kuala Lumpur and its currency is Malaysian Ringgit and this is the flag. So this flag is also known as Malay which means strips of glory and it's composed of a field of 14 alternating red and white strips along with a fly and a blue canton. This is a blue canton bearing a crescent 
and is the 14 point star known for its federal star this is the federal star next country we have brunei it's a very small country let's have a close look to this so this part is brunei it's a sovereign state located in the north coast of this island of Bruno in Southeast Asia. Apart from the coastlines with the South China Sea, the country is completely surrounded by the state of Sarawak, Malaysia. So this whole country is separated, is surrounded by Sarawak, Malaysia. So it's a very small state, we can say it's a very small country. This is the map of Brunei. Its capital is Bandasei Begawan, which is over here. Its currency is Brunei dollar and it's a flag. So this flag has a center crest of Brunei in a yellow field cut by a black and white diagonal strips. The next country we have Indonesia. So it's a unitary sovereign state and a transcontinental country located in mainly Southeast Asia with some territories in Oceania. It is situated between India and Pacific Oceans and is the world's largest island country with more than 17,000 islands. So it's the world's most island country. This is the map of Indonesia. Its capital is the Skarta, which is over here. Its currency is Rupaya, and this is the flag. So this flag of Indonesia is simple bar color with two equal horizontal bands, red top and white bottom, with an overall ratio of through ratio three. The next country we have Philippines. So Philippines is a sovereign island country in Southeast Asia and situated in the Western Pacific Ocean. It consists of about 7,641 islands and that are categorized broadly under three main geographical divisions. Let's have a look on that. So the upper part we have Luzon, the middle part we have Visayas, and the third part we have Mindanao. So this is the map of Philippines. Its capital is Manila and its currency is Peso. This is the flag. So the flag is a horizontal bicolor with equal bands of royal blue and scarlet and with a white equilateral triangle at the host and in the center of the triangle is a golden yellow sun with the eight primary rays each representing a Philippine province. The next country and the second last country we have Taiwan. So Taiwan is officially the Republic of China and it's a state in East Asia. It's a neighboring island it includes this is China to the west, Japan in the upper part is in the northeast, Philippines to the south. Taiwan is the most populous state that is the not a member of United Nations and also the possess largest economy of any state outside Union territories. This is the map of Taiwan. Its capital is Taipei, which is over here. Its currency is New Taiwan dollar. This is the flag. So this flag is a red field with an AB blue canton bearing a white sun with 12 triangular rays. The next country and the last country is Maldives. So Maldives is the South Asian island country located in the Indian Ocean, situated in the Arabian Sea and it lies southwest of India. This is Maldives. Let's have a close look to it. It's a very, like you can say over dot over here. It's a very, very small country. So this is the map of Maldives. Its capital is over here, which is known as Malay. It's not male, it's a Malay. This is the flag. This flag of Maldives is a green with a red border. The center bears a vertical white crescent. The close side of the crescent is on the host side of the flag. Its currency is Rufaya. Thank you guys for watching this lesson. If you think that this lesson is helping you in any way, please to subscribe to our channel. Please click to that ring bell so that you can be notified whenever I'm uploading a new lesson. Do like, do share and comment. So I believe in each one and each one. So I would like if you share these lessons to many of them. Don't, those people who can't afford big coachings and expensive coachings and luxurious, uh, we can say surroundings. So for them, we have the lessons, these lessons which can help them out. Thank you guys.